hi what's up in today's video we are going to be creating you know a creative jota in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so right now I'll go over out to this place and change the drawing page to a5 which is the normal size of uh, jota locate your rectangular to rectangle to double click on the automatically stamp into page then let's go over and create you know create uh you know background so at first let's go over and just you know make a copy of this change to white already make a copy center it within the object then go over right click convert to curve so what you're gonna do right now is to go over and double click right here then you pull the cellular page you know for just like so right click on this line locate convert to curve right here so right click on this line look at convert to curve then you pull this angle just like so put this angle up a little bit so bring this down a little bit just like so as this right now make a copy make a copy of this you know uh, objects centered within the second one then you go over and just pull this angle forward a bit so right now we are good to go with that so let's power clip this picture into uh, the objects so look at you know power clip go to object look at power clip then place inside frame so the frame automatically snap into the frame so right now let's make the picture a little bigger then adjust just like so reduce it a little bit pull it up just like so so right now what we're going to do is to go over and just you know let's sample this color right here go over and locate your color eyedropper to sample this color in here then you point right here good points here as well so right now what you're gonna do is to go over and select the upper one hold down your control key keyboard then you tap white type into white you know a little bit just like that keep tapping till you your preferred you know color i think this is okay then you right click right here release your mouse or your control key then you right click on this portion right here to unappear the outline likewise this as well so right now what you are going to do is to go back to we are making use of this you know i'll go right here so to make a copy of this or then this code color you have to right drag that you know object to the top of the wire then you release your mouse you know so many pops up asking you so many things but we are going for copy of properties automatically changes you can see that so right now what we are going to be doing now is to so what we are going to be doing now is to go over to just bring in the, this object right here control page up can you see that so right now what we are going to do is to go over let's change bit convert this object to bitmap make a copy of that convert it to bitmap then the dial bar pops up then you go over from drop menu right here select grayscale it's okay good can you see that go over and create an object on top of the object so right now we are going to make it this color so go over to your you know transparency to locate you know uniform transparency right there then you go over to this you know uh drop down menu select you know subtract so in this case what we are going to do is to make a copy of that then you send that within the object good can you see that so go, go over and just uh, bitmap this convert to bitmap uh, in 
this case right now we are using RGB it's okay RGB it's okay good this is quite out of it so let's go over and just you know so right now we're gonna go over to this place and make it a little bit lighter then let's pull this up a little bit then hit ok so right now delete this then bring in you know to the top of it make a copy send that within the object then you select the whole thing convert to bitmap it's okay so right now what you are going to do is to go over to object locate adjust uh, look go over to if you locate adjust then you hit on don't cough so let's reset that so let's pull it up just like so you know pull it down i think this is okay so let's put this angle a little bit up so hit ok so right now what we're going to do is to just you know uh, blend the bottom of this you know object just like so then you go and uh, make it a little bit you know uh, you know wider but clip that into place to give it an edge position that so well can you see that so let's go over to bring in our test so this is a test so right now let's just make the test white just so reduce this you know object right here so let's go over and just you know uh, hit ctrl k to break that into pieces then you go over at your font you know uh, to change this to try down likewise this to change this to try down So why? Good. So right now let's pull this down a little bit. Then let's hit enter from a keyboard. Then you enter from keyboard again. So hit Control K and keyboard to break the test into pieces. Then you go over and change this to brush script. So let's use Edward. You can decide to use any script that you have. So make a copy of the property here right click to right click right drag to the top of the floor and then you release your mouse can you see that so let's go over and make it right, right click on white to give the outline you know so let's go over and make the outline three it okay so right now what we are going to do let's go over again let's make it to that will be okay then you go over at your object locate you know uh, convert offline to object automatically convert then you select the whole thing wet it all up here then you right track this place to the top of the Florence village your mouse you know sub menu pops up then you choose copy your properties can you see that <laughs> so right now what we are going to do is to make this other names a little bit wider then you put in the dialog go reduce the name a little bit then you go over and create you know object at the top of this Florence So right now let's right drag this color on top of the object, release your mouse, select you know copy our properties and you send to back that object and hit on control, you know, and you send it to back just like so. So right now let's bring in the mister on top of the, the object and you change it to uh, this color, position it so well. 
so right now the next step right now is to just pull this a little bit down then let's just you know drag this to the top of this you know crest right here so let's hit control page up my keyboard until it pops up to the top of the design so let's go over to just you know so right now let's make the 63 a little bit bigger then you reduce the years then the height so right now what you're gonna do is to go over look uh, to your shape tool then you increase the tracking just like so increase this as well then you center it within the design so make this a little bit you know smaller like drag the object to the top to the top of the sister tree then release your mouse then you select copy your properties likewise all of this then this so send that within the object group it all up good so right now what we are all we need to do right now is to go over and just you know let's ungroup this so let's select pick the star copy it then you group it up then you group the rest of the object ctrl g then go back to uh, this place and click on, on rectangle create a straight line object just like so then you right drag to the top of the object release your mouse you know as so many pops up then you select copy of properties can you see that make a copy to the other side then you hold shift key to select the other one then you group it all up ctrl g center it within the star then group it all up reduce the object just like so can you see that make it a little bit longer then you position this beneath it so right now what you're going to do is to go over and locate your shape to increase the track in a little bit then you center it within the florence so right now what we are going to do next is to just reduce the whole thing just like so then you position it just like this so our next step right now is to go over and type you know celebration of life celebration mission of life life hit control k to break that into pieces then you go over and select the life make that you know uh, this so right now let's just reduce it a little reduce this a little bit then you create an object you know by selecting your uh, ellipse tool then create a circle just like so then you go over and just you know select this you know this and create the tracking a little bit then you go shift guy give us like the circle then you locate you know this then you select you know fit this to part automatically it fits in then you go for two objects then you locate you know break threads apart automatically it breaks then you delete the circle so group this all up then you position it so wide well, just like so so the next step right now is to just make a copy of this you know object by selecting it you know Point your mouse to the edge of the object, then you hold Ctrl key and keyboard, flip to the other side and get to your destination. You right click, automatically it copy paste. So our next step right now is to go over and create objects, just like so. Change it to white, then you look at your what's it called, your shape to Let's round this angle up. Hold Ctrl key and keyboard, then. You you know pull this angle in what just like so good make a copy and get to the destination right click automatically copy paste then make it wider a little bit so 
right track this go to the top of that chair then release your mouse choose copy all properties then make a copy of this to the other side then you select two together flip it to the other side, right click automatically copy paste then you squeeze it a little bit position this so well double click wise then you screw it just like so position it so well so right now the next step is to go over and pack with this whole thing right right track the picture individually I drag to the top of our ratio mouse set back quick automatically snapping likewise this back quick then you go over and position it so well you have this as well position this hold out key and keyboard select object then release out key adjust Then click outside, right click, select the whole, the whole thing, then you right click on this portion to so appear the offline. So here we come to the end tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button in case I have something special so that you'll be prompted that something has been dropped in my channel. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up which is a like so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing so far bye for now see you in the next video